Does writing on the cards bother you? Do beat up boards really grind your gears? I guess the answer, as ever, with anything, is it depends. Now, you know, we've got uh, some interesting items in our collection. I'm sure you do as well. And you have to weigh, particularly with these older games, Appa Stratomatic, you know, just how much uh, road wear, how much game-used uh, detailing, if you will, or patina, you're going to allow in your game. Now, one of my favorite games, my, my baby, I've showed this one off, is my original app. This is my, not my first sports game, but my first, uh, well, Pay Dirt was my first, uh, first statistics sim, but my first APA game is this set of boards from 1979 with a 78 season. Now, I wouldn't expect anyone to want to buy something like this where it's so worn out that you either as a player know it from memory or you find a chart elsewhere, you pass on that system. I mean, I would never offer these for sale up. Um, <laughs> look at those corners are so beat up, they're rounded. They were square. <laughs> they were square, I swear. Uh, the kickoff chart is so abused that I had to put this, I had to rewrite it on here, you know, and I did some other uh, modification here and there with some of the uh, run losses, you know, that are practically, you know, they approximate sacks. I did this in 79, you know, not knowing that down the road, Ray Dunlop, who was former statistician with the Buccaneers and creator of the Sun Coast Football League, was doing the same things. They redid their entire boards. Um, certainly, if you're using Excel boards, well, you don't have to worry about, you know, collecting cards and boards with writing on them. Now, I've pointed out the uh, original 66 APA sets out there. It's one of the hardest gets. And wouldn't you know it, I bought these uh, about eight or ten years apart. Finally got the AFL set, and thankfully uh, Ken Thomas has got another one out there. His is mint, it looks like. I don't think it's even got writing on it. Uh, but, you know, outside of a little writing on the envelope, you know, it can get a little wild. But... In this case, you know, you've got a set that's just not, well, it's not perfect. You know, it's got the little discoloration at the top. And somebody wrote the stats here. I find it all intriguing. It doesn't detract too much, you know, from the set. Uh, you know, it's, it's certainly, it's clean. It's playable. Am I ever going to sell it? Am I buying this as an investment? No, I'm going to leave that to... Goodness knows, no, we'll have that whole succession plan. That's a whole video. Ten tips for a succession plan for your sports collection. If you don't have children or um, spouses who want to take uh, take that on. But, uh, you know, somebody, these, these are just gently, gently written on. Okay, that's fine. The 66 AFL set, well, it's got a little more going on here. But again, now this is cool. Somebody thought that was important, right? You know, just like, you know, I think, whoa, my boards, you know, are important. Somebody thought this stuff was important. You even wrote a little bit under the lip here. Uh, rookie, what does that say? Rookie, this is fast. Here, this is first four. Huh. Oh, oh, the games. Somebody wrote down the games. You know, misses the last lot. So someone was really particular about this set. Stram, Walsh, etc. Just wide of the right. You know, nice shout out to the coaching core. Okay, cool. And the record and the offensive and defensive totals. And um, just some of the competitors there. So, cool. And yeah, very interesting. Getting inside here. Again, light. Okay, so pencil. These are not mint. And uh, <laughs> I already see where someone didn't uh, take too kindly to the uh, APA uh, downgrading of... Um, AFL folks, and that's one of the questions that often gets asked. When did the AFL get its due from APA with the original sets? It wasn't until maybe 68, 69 sets originally. Uh, but prior to that, I don't think you ever saw an AFL 5. I don't remember the, exactly the first one, but I think it was probably in the 68 set. Um, and we went back to that. But, uh, yeah, so you get some writing on these as well. Uh, looks like they wrote the you – know, somebody here wanted the colleges. Okay, that's cool. That's not terrible. Does that, you know, is that too much for you? You know, that's, that's, 
decent. Okay, that's fine. Is it a mint set? I mean, not torn up, not ripped apart. You know, going back one season to these original 65s. Again, completely different owners. Somebody wrote the pencil on there and did the nice little, you know, okay, put the helmet on there. Didn't stamp it. Some folks will make nice envelopes and do like a nice little typewriter style uh, type on it. So in this case, somebody uh, cut out the roster and put it in with the team and did the writing on there. They didn't do the writing on the cards. You know, I mean, you get a little discoloration there and that's, that's fine. But for those who uh, know, the original 1965 Apple season set came with a list of corrections for all the quarterbacks. This person did it very cool. Simply cut it out, put it on the back. That a problem? You know, if you're going to resell the set, hey, it's uh, probably preferable to another set I owned where somebody white outed, or whited out rather, the P column numbers that needed correcting and wrote them in in pen. It's a mess. I can't even bear to show it to you. Actually, I can't find it. But if I find it someday, I'll play a a game with that one. I think it might be the 57 original set that has it like that. So somebody took these 65 cards and just taped the corrections on the back. How that tape is holding, I can't, I, it's just rather shocking to me. So they don't make tape like they used to, like many other things. Would any of that bother you? Just want to get your thoughts on that. Probably here we get the same thing. So, you know, again, they cut out the roster, put that in there, did a little writing there. Who's the, uh, who do we have here? Find me a quarterback. Oh, whoops. Ah, the uh, correction came off there. Well, spoke too soon. There it is, Bill Way. There it is. So, you know, I mean, is that a problem? On the back of the card, you're not going to see the card. So that's fine. You know, this isn't, we're not talking Gem Mint 10, you know, picture cards here, right? But maybe, you know, it skews you out a little bit. You know, of course, something that really skewed folks out was this baby. I did a little photo essay on Instagram or something like that. I mean, it's just, you know, that's just the usual wear and tear of an Apple box, right? Uh, but surprisingly, it does not smell. It looks like it should smell a lot. Like, a whole lot. It should smell like uh, gym clothes wrapped up and wadded up and thrown in the corner. But, nope. Surprisingly, surprisingly, uh, I don't want to say fresh and zesty, but, you know. But the cards inside are absolutely mint. And it's a 64 game with 67 season cards. So, you know, obviously the play cards, if you're shuffling them, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. Use them and put it down with the... With the, uh, the uh, uh, ball carriers, a receiver's card, and, uh, you know, you get a little discoloration there. Okay, fine. You know, we can Xerox these. I mean, it was just uh, <laughs> on Facebook today. So, uh, Ken, Ken T again was saying, uh, you know, he uses uh, the method I use because uh, we've got all these player cards. If you collect these games, you got a million of these things. All you got to do is Xerox them and mount them up, you know, and, and you've got a nice little, uh, you know, it's a method you can use. You might as well use all those bloody play cards, but, uh, <laughs> you know, you've got, uh, is this the one? This isn't even the one that's not bad. Okay. This is, uh, it's, it's a little rough looking, but would that, what, what's your limit for when you, you know, what's the tipping point for you when you see a set that you really need and want versus, you know, something that, uh, is just, it's just so beat up. It's like, I, I just, cannot do it would it be something like this baby now this is the one actually i was referencing the one i did the photo essay on this is the 64 game with the 67 cards i think these are 68s in here uh, let's just take a look at this puppy because it's just vicious it's brutal it's ugly i mean this baby was loved loved perhaps nearly to death it's, <laughs> I mean, it's shaggy, but it's not coming apart, is it? Whoa, it's so close. Oh, no. Speaking of all those playing cards, yeah. <laughs> You've got, these babies are like cut out of the actual pig skin. 
I love this thing. I am going to play a set with it, uh, play a game with it. I mean, you know, they you, you can't argue that they lasted, that's for sure. You know, I almost I almost hate, and this is going to sound stupid, I almost hate to damage them in any way. It's like, oh, if I use these, I might ruin the uh, <laughs> the uh, patina or the, um, you know, the aging and the, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not even, that's not even the best part. And a nice little score sheet in here. I mean, it's just, it straddles a weird line between so ugly it's pretty maybe it's maybe i'm just trying to make it that but that's i mean you want to talk about gee the new boards are flimsy well this sucker is uh you know this thing is a weapon i think and uh whoops <laughs> see see how hard <laughs> it's like it's a tough guy this i mean speaking of boards you know if this were your only set if this is the only set it was a super well i mean what kind of a steel would it need to be or do you care? You know, I mean, obviously, if you want something collector grade and you want to show it off, okay, fine. But something like this is, I think, playable. Yeah, especially if you need that old set of boards. You know, you know, this is uh, this is the '64 game. This is the last uh, set before that big first revision that uh, kind of confused '65, '66 original era revision. So, you know. It's something to think about. What's your tipping point? And show off your ugly sets. Email us, Apple Football Club Original at gmail.com. Show us your ugly sets. It's always about, you know, show us your setup. We've done that gallery. We did that gallery years ago. Everyone does show us your setup. Show me your ugly cards. That's what I want to see. All right. Show me your ugliest, ugliest set. <laughs> but again, cards, you know. Just as in that 68-ish thing, whatever that is, this is the, you know, cards are in good shape. You know, I'm almost, I'm almost disappointed in that. But, you know, someone, you know, had a, a threshold. It's like, I don't care what the uh, boards look like, but the cards have to be fantastic. I will tell you, you know, it's these, it's these cool little things when you buy these collections that you discover. One of the fondest items in my collection and no it didn't come with that 65 but it it was a hodgepodge of 65 and again that elusive 66 football cards it had about three of the 66 afl cards uh this actually set is from this collection a collection from a gentleman larry hildebrand out in portland i believe i found out he was a sports writer for the Oregonian, okay? But, you know, it's so cool. He made up his own little field, or he grabbed it from another game, but, you know, he 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 christened it, rechristened it, rebranded it, did Hildy. You know, it's just, I mean, obviously, we all love the old score sheets and the old brochures, but the, the old personal touches, you know, can really make a set more collectible to me. And by the way, if you're looking for a field like this, if you're thinking that it's sacrilege that a, uh, a football field for Apple should be this small, you got to check out the work that Paul Barone is doing. Uh, he set up his own group. I found him in the Stratomatic uh, side, you know, the other side of the universe there. And uh, you know, noted on my page uh, that uh, he's doing these great fields, throwbacks, current sets and now he's got an 80s set i'll put a link check out link uh to his facebook group here 10 mil uh thickness he gives you a rubber mat i uh, gives you the markers and all that beautiful stuff compact i think for apple in particular definitely for strato it makes sense especially with the old big cards um for apple the greater volume of cards certainly makes more sense there but speaking of that other universe Something that really skews me out more than this is it's the it's the strato problem. It's a strato thing. Now, I haven't played my strato yet. I wanted to collect a few though. And you know, as is often the case, you set your alerts and you wait and you wait and you wait. And these actually don't look as bad, but this is a bit of a deal because these are sets from the aughts, 03, 04, 06, 07, and they're actually not in the worst shape, but 
rubber band rash. Rubber band rash. Uh-oh. This kind of a thing where it's like, ah, oh, no. Ah, uh, uh, I can't do it. Oh, I heard it. No, can't do it. Oh, band rash, man. Do not, do not use the rubber bands with your strat cards please please you want to keep i don't care what card you have you want to keep your cards nice and pristine you bought this nice new set that's awesome that's beautiful these cards you want to keep them nice but then they go ahead and include this whole bag of rubber bands now very generous very nice very thoughtful throw these away <laughs> or put them to the side Use them for whatever else. Do not put them on your cards. All right? I mean, it's just, look, again, it, it you know, it depends. If you're going to use them and that works for you, just don't put them near heat or something like that. I mean, these things are, you know, they're not an insignificant investment. Let's face it. And uh, frankly, wouldn't you rather just, this is the 68 reprint. I haven't even opened it, uh, you know. But wouldn't you, Knight, uh, wouldn't you maybe consider putting these cards in a nice, I don't know, a nice envelope. Wouldn't they fit in an envelope kind of like that? Well, they wouldn't quite fit. They're a little big, but maybe you go and get some custom envelopes, say from a Chris White or a Howie Mooney or a Jim Frosch. If he's still doing it, he runs the Apple Barn uh, blog out there. It's been out there for about seven years, something like that. So you know, maybe instead of the rubber bands to avoid that band rash and the shock horror of, you know, potentially, you know, ruining a collection and losing the uh, resale value, maybe check out some envelopes. You can even get the coin envelopes. I'll put a link to some of the coin envelopes. Just check them out. They go by, they're numbered. Coin envelope size 5, 5.5, etc. All the specs are there. You know, just use something like that instead of these and prevent the the trauma for your cards unless it doesn't bother you does it bother you let me know and send us your ugliest looking cards apple football club original at gmail.com <laughs>